One thing that concerns me is I could definitely see a scenario where he did do at least some of these 12 acts of abuse toward her. And yet she's an imperfect victim. He's richer. He's got a better legal team. He's more determined. He's, he's angrier. And he did threaten to destroy her at the end of their marriage. He did say he was going to bring global humiliation to her. And he's got the means to do it. And there's that little sort of bird in the back of my head saying, is that what's happening here? I think at times there can be aspects of that. I mean, figuring out Johnny Depp is is tricky. Uh, he's clearly a great performer, and he performed very well throughout the trial and on the stand. Yeah. Um, given his kind of other, you know, admitted alcohol and drug problems, staying completely clean for six weeks might not have been the easiest thing, but he appears to have achieved it. I also thought they did better on just every aspect of marketing. I get that she wants to be seen as a tough, or sees herself as a tough survivor, but I think that undermined the victim presentation. The reality, I mean, I, I represented victims of domestic abuse for 20 plus years, hundreds mm-hmm. across the country, started out doing it as a young lawyer. The reality is you got to play into the gender stereotypes that exist if you want to win. Uh, it's what I've told many clients, and I've had clients that are like, I'm not going to look this way, I'm going to look this way. And I get it, and I understand it, but I say, look, if you want the jury to see you through their cultural stereotypes that they understand this world to be, then you need to kind of look the part. Johnny Depp played the part of the poor, abused, henpecked uh, uh, star husband who was really the nice, sweet guy underneath. She play, didn't play the part of a young, vulnerable victim. I mean, you know, she could have dressed differently and her hair differently, done presentation differently. She was tough. She was uh, invulnerable. And that just doesn't play into the image and archetype that people have of young, abused girl with older, powerful, wealthier Hollywood star. Mm. And so I, the, all the PR side, Johnny Depp's team did much better than her side. They did. And, you know, I had Garagos on not long ago. We were talking about how early on we both found Camille Vasquez slightly annoying. This is early on where she was like, I do miss Heard. I do, you know, like sort of snippy. But by the end of the trial, I really became a fan of hers. And I thought she did a great job. And I thought, you know, her cross-examination was classic. I mean, it's what we learn in law school. It's what we do on on trial team all the way through uh, trying real cases. Just the total control of your witness. Yeses, noes, that's it. Anything beyond that, you control your witness, you get an instruction from the judge, you don't let them budge so that the whole story comes out just as you want it to. And, you know, she's only 38 years old. She thought she did a great job. Absolutely. I mean, she uh, she was definitely the best lawyer of any, of anybody in the courtroom that I saw, at least. And I thought what she did a good job of is not only understanding how to command different aspects of a witness, but also just communicate and emote in a more real uh, human way. I mean, she comes from she doesn't come from one of the elite law schools. And I think that's why she was probably the best lawyer in the room Yeah, yeah. Uh, is because she has more. Uh, she can connect to people in a real tangible way. And you could tell she had a real connection with Johnny Depp that I thought was very important that Amber seemed to lack with her lawyers uh, that, you know, everybody's watching the whole world's watching juries, watching galleries, watching judges, watching. It's important to communicate an emote connection between uh, you as a lawyer and your client. And she did that better than anybody else in the room uh, in terms of with Johnny Depp, as well as communicating most effectively with the jury and staying focused and controlling someone like Amber who wants to go off as a witness, wants to tangent as much as possible is not an easy thing to do. And she managed it very, very effectively effectively. Mm -hmm. She, of course, it's no accident that they used her as lead trial counsel. You know, there's nine lawyers on that uh, legal team and there are a lot more senior trial lawyers who are available, I'm sure. But they wanted a young woman uh, sort of sandwiched in between Amber's age and Johnny's to telegraph to the jury. I don't think he did it. I think Amber's the bad guy here. And uh, she did a very good job of that. And they were, you know, right. They were showing affection in an appropriate way uh, between one another. And Amber's lawyers were not likable. Uh, I, at no point did I have anything but sort of mild disdain for them. I cannot believe that there's a guy practicing law whose name is actually Rottenborn. I mean, that's like why you wouldn't rethink that before you tried to go sell yourself to juries. I don't know. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but I don't think they, they made any connection with the jurors in the way Camille Vasquez did, which, you know, there's a reason she emerged as the star and they didn't. 
No doubt. And in my experience, I think Amber Heard does show signs of an abusive personality, even if uh, the most abusive personalities are that way because they are the victims of abuse, often end up in relationships where they're the victim of abuse, but they're also the abuser themselves. And the thing is, those personnel, in my experience, when I, I knew my client was telling the truth, when they, when the, uh, their ex spouse, partner, whatever it may have been, uh, picked a certain lawyer because certain abusers just flock to certain kinds of lawyers. Uh, and they tend not to be able to get good, capable, competent, skilled, emotionally stable lawyers because those lawyers either don't like their case or they as a client don't like them as a lawyer. They want lawyers who will do their bidding rather than lawyers who will do what's best for the client. Classic mm-hmm. example here is she's kind of in trouble right now because of that headline in particular, factually and legally. But my, in my view, when I read the op-ed, it appeared that that headline was about the first paragraph, which was about other people that she'd been the victims of uh, prior to even meeting Johnny, uh, Johnny, because she talks about experiencing sexual abuse when she was young and in high school mm-hmm. and in college uh, or, or college age before she met Johnny. And yet, you know, that would have been the defense to embrace. But because she did an all or nothing defense, basically, she made that part of her own case by alleging abuse during the trial of that nature. Mm -hmm. And it's like that was unnecessary from a legal perspective. It made her case more difficult. It made believing her more essential to the case that it would have otherwise had to be. But I suspect that was her decision uh, more than her counsel's decision. And I think the limitations of her counsel reflected the problems of the client. Are the high fuel costs putting a damper on your summer vacation plans? From higher prices at the pump to a jump in airfare, it's getting more expensive to get away for a week. And the surveys show the vast majority of Americans are worried about this. But what if you could soak up those vacation vibes without even having to leave your property? You can. Get a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. Whether you want to stay close to home this summer or you just want to extend your break, a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas can transform your backyard into an oasis. It's an oasis. It's a gym. It's a spa. It's a source of fun. It combines all the benefits of a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. It's going to reinvent family time. You will love it. Your family and friends will too. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard even if it's a small backyard. And since it's heated, you can use it year-round in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save a thousand bucks on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or 500 bucks on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.